Good morning everyone. So for this week lesson, we will talk about the differences between direct speech and indirect speech or uh, we also call it as reported speech, all right? Also in this lesson, I will explain different ways and processes to be considered in converting direct speech to reported speech and vice versa. So if you are ready to listen, let's start. So for our objective, so at the end of this lesson, you will be able to first identify the difference between direct and reported speech. Next, use direct and reported speech appropriately in varied context. And last, understand and follow the rules in converting direct speech to reported speech and vice versa. Now let's start with some examples. So I want you to analyze the given group of sentences and you have to write down your observations on your paper, okay? So let's read sentence number one. Bobby said, I am staying at home today. And the other one, Bobby said that he was staying at home today. All right, so what have you noticed? Next example we have, Lee draws very well. Janet observed, and Janet observed that Lee drew very well. Now let's have first direct speech. So what is a direct speech? So direct speech is the actual speech quoted from the speaker. So like for example, we have here the sentence number one from the previous example. So Bobby said, I am staying at home today. So this is an example of direct speech, which means these are the exact words of the speaker. It is currently happening. So the quotation marks show that the statement inside are the exact words of the speaker or uh, the exact words of Bobby. Okay, so let's have more examples. And here are some examples. First, Lee draws very well. Janet observed. Next, I am leaving for Cebu tonight, Paolo said. And Anna said, mother gave me a pair of pearl earrings. All right, so the statements are direct speech, which means what's inside the quotation marks are the exact words of the speaker. So like for example, in sentence number one, Lee draws very well, Janet observed. So it is the exact word of Janet, or rather words of Janet, same with sentence number two and sentence number three okay now let's have the indirect speech okay so it is the speaker's speech reported by the third person on the other hand the second statement from the previous examples is an example of reported or indirect speech so we have here Bobby said that he was staying at home. So it is now a reported speech because it is a restatement of what the speaker said. And also notice that the quotation marks have been removed because the statement had been paraphrased. So that is indirect speech. Again, it is the speaker's speech reported by the third person. And here are some examples of indirect speech, okay? So first we have, Janet observed that Lee drew very well. Next, Paulo said that he was leaving tonight. The other one, Anna said that her mother had given her a pair of pearl earrings. So the sentences below are examples of reported speech so these are the speaker's speech reported 
by the third person. So it is a restatement of what the speaker said. So in example number one, Janet observed that Lee drew very well. So here, someone is reporting that Janet, or rather, reporting Janet's observations about Lee. Okay? So the next example, so they are the restatement of Paolo and Anna. So notice that the quotation marks have been removed because the statement had been paraphrased. All right? And we are using now the third person point of view. Okay? You got it? So let's have now converting direct speech to indirect speech. Okay? So you have to remember first, you have to put that before the indirect statement. Like for example, he said the game is exciting. So it is a direct speech. And when we convert it into indirect speech, uh, it will become, he said that the game was exciting. So we put that and of course, we have to remove uh, quotation marks. Okay, next we have here. So changes in pronouns. So I have here a table of pronouns used in changing direct to indirect speech. So we have here in direct speech, we have or rather we are using the first person. And when we convert it into reported speech, we have to change it into third person. So like for example, I, so you have to change it into he or she, we. You have to change it into they, you, he, she, or they, my, so you have to change it into his, for boy, and her, for girl, our, so you have to change it into their, your, so his, for boy, her, for girl, and their, for plural form. Next, in object pronouns, so the object pronoun me, you have to change it in him or her, us will become them, so you will become him her and them. Mine will become his and hers. Ours, so theirs. Yours will become his for boy, hers for girls, and theirs for plural form. Okay, so again, you have to remember to change the pronoun when converting direct speech to reported speech. Okay? Let's have some examples. So first we have here the pronoun I. So direct speech, I am leaving for Cebu tonight, Paulo said. So from I, we have to change it into he, okay, because of Paulo. So Paulo said that he was leaving tonight, all right? We have another example here, the object pronoun me, okay? So Anna said, mother gave me a pair of pearl earrings. So when we convert it into reported speech, it will become, Anna said that her mother had given her a pair of pearl earrings. So the object pronoun me will become her in reported speech okay another example is the pronoun my okay so we have here kevin said my collection of action figures is growing so when we convert it into reported speech we have to change my so it will become Kevin said that his collection of action figures was growing. So from my, we have to change it into his because of Kevin. All right. Another example, we have the pronoun we. So we are excited to see the beach, my sisters said. So let's convert it into reported speech. It will become... My sisters said that they were excited to see the beach. So again, the pronoun we, okay, will become they in reported speech, all right? So we are done with the pronoun. Now let's go to the tenses 
of verbs. So please take note of the changes in the tenses of verb in changing direct speech into reported speech. So first, when you are using the simple present tense, okay, in reported speech, you have to change that verb into simple past tense. Again, from simple present tense, you have to change it into simple past tense. And if it is a present progressive tense, you have to change it into past progressive tense. And the present perfect tense, you have to change it into past perfect tense. Okay? So, please take note of this table. It is very important in changing direct speech into reported speech. And let's have some examples. First example we have, Lee draws very well, Janet observes. So, our verb is draws, which is a simple present. And now, when we convert it into reported speech, it will become Janet observed that Lee drew very well. So from simple present draws, we change it into simple past. It will become drew, okay? Draws, drew. So that is simple present to simple past. Next example is present progressive. So the students exclaimed, we are having so much fun. So, our verb is are having. So, it is in the present progressive tense. And when we change it into reported speech, it will become the students explain that they were having so much fun. Okay? So, from the present progressive are having, we change our verb into were having, which is the past progressive uh, form. Okay? So, again, are having will become we're having, all right? Okay, so our next example is the perfect tenses. So you have to remember that in perfect tenses, we are using has, have, had, plus the past participle of the verb. So we use has for singular and have for plural in the present tense. And in the past perfect tense, we are using had okay so we have here i have finally found my necklace jen said so our verb is have found which is in the present perfect tense so when we change it into reported speech it will become jen said that she had finally found her necklace so our verb have found present perfect so we change it into had found which is past perfect tense okay so always remember in changing direct speech into indirect speech or reported speech first you have to put that and then you have to change the pronoun and the last you have to change the tenses of the verb all right and this is all for today. So see you on our live discussion. Again, this is Teacher Mitch, your English teacher, leaving you a quote from Confucius saying, He who learns but does not think is lost, and he who thinks but does not learn is in great danger. Goodbye, everyone. Have a wonderful day.